Hey guys, the Jimmy fan here, and uh, what we have here to show you guys today is the uh, five. Oh, you know what? Screw this, man. I don't have nearly that many subscribers. YouTube, this is Jemmy in Transit, and this is really cool. I've actually got a five foot hot cocoa mug inflatable from uh, Lowe's last year. This uh, retailed for $99. I get it, got it on sale for $85. Uh, they do, were doing this promotion, I think, midway through December or something like that, or November for the uh, Christmas inflatables, or some of them. And uh, I picked this one up for $85. Like I said, this one is really cool, actually. I enjoy this. Um, I, you know, I will say, though, the one thing about this inflatable, it is impossible to get back in the box. One thing that's really difficult about it. Um, another thing, I actually need your guys' opinion on something. So I've actually just started recording down here in this basement. So uh, our finished basement. So um, I need you guys' opinion. Do you want me... I'll put it in the description, the options that I want to want you guys to choose from. But um, I want your guys' op opinion on where I should film. Um, outside, uh, in the basement, or in my room. So I kind of have am having trouble deciding where I want to put my stuff and uh, review. So I kind of would like your guys' input. So uh, put that in the comments. So uh, I guess here we go. Alrighty. So today we're shifting gears uh, and we're going for something Christmassy. So this is the 2017 Hot Cocoa Mug. Um, they did sell a couple models like this. They sold two at Walmart. They sold an animated one last year, as well as a stationary version in 2015, 2014. Yeah. One of those two. That had a cheap fan, and it sells for a lot of money for some reason. Um, my good buddy Chris Sauls, I don't know if you've seen his YouTube, but he actually has one, uh, or had one. He sells all his stuff, but um, he had one for a while, and uh, he ended up selling it, I think. He may still have it, but those things sell for a good amount. This one is not so valuable. I'm not really sure why. I've never really seen prices on this one, uh, but I'll give you a look at the box. It's just the generic Lowe's box really nothing special. It says Holiday Living Animated Air Blown Hot Cocoa Inflatable. And like I said, this thing's impossible to get back in the box. Um, it, it really sucks trying to put this thing back. It's its box is way too small. But uh, there is the code right there, the uh, item number. Uh, so you can look that up if you like. I'm saying oh, way too much. It's just filler for me. I kind of just say it. Um, and, yep, see there I go again. Anyways, let's get this guy out of the box. I'll actually, I'll actually show you me taking him out of the box. I don't even remember if I have the uh, the bag anymore. I don't think I do. You can see this guy is the the box is all beat up from the shelves. This is how it came with the the uh, issues on the side here, the sort of the dings right there. But um, nonetheless, I still like this inflatable. I don't think yeah, the bag's not in there anymore. I know um, Holiday Addiction has this. My good friend, there's that. So I know he has this. I don't know about anybody else, but. I know I have it, and he has it. So let me take it out of the box, and I'll show you guys. So like always, I'll start out with the fan. This is equipped with the YEF-80 with stationary base legs, and no fan cover, as you can see. It is one of the very small bases. You can see that right there. It's tiny. It's a very small base. But I, it's, it does the job. It's not a very powerful fan, the YEF-80s, as you guys know. They're stronger than YEF-60s or 50s, but they do the job for this inflatable especially. Let me get them situated here. But let's flip the fan over. There we go. Uh, I'll show you the animation motor. So it is inside of the brown mouse. You can see, I can just pull them out here. Um, it does have sandbags in it. So what happens is when it deflates, it the sandbags pull it back in and it goes inside the mug. And I'll show you from the bottom. It is actually open on the bottom here. So those two doors open and close to let in to let air in and out of those sides, you know, the side that corresponds with whatever door is open. So it helps it blast air into the uh, mouse to make him go up and down. So you can see it is weighted, but well, you can't see, but I can feel it. It is weighted, so that way the uh, mouse can go back into the mug. So I guess let's plug him in without further ado. So here we go. So here we go. He inflates pretty quickly. It is, it is heavy, holding it up like this. Let's see if I can get a good shot on it. Oh, okay, that was interesting. The way that mouse just fell back in there. That was actually very interesting. <laughs> Anyways, so you can see here, it is it does have um, marshmallows right here. 
Um, the, the white mouse has a mug. This mouse goes up and down. I'll give you a good shot of the animation here real fast. The animation on this one works real good. The only thing is his arm sometimes doesn't pop out like that. So something that kind of bugs me. But you can see it goes on about five second intervals. You see this hand is supposed to pop out like that, but it sometimes doesn't. So he works great. Inflates tight, sort of tight. And uh, it's got, I, I don't know how many lights, one, two, three, four, maybe. This might, yeah, even the brown mouse has a light in it. So I'll turn off the lights for you guys and we'll give you a good view of him. He lights up okay. Not fantastic. The, the white mouse, you can see, of course. I'll give you a good 360 view of it. It's pretty big. It's, it's five feet tall and maybe about five feet wide, I'd say. I always forget how far this camera is zoomed in. It's really frustrating. There it is from the back. You can see that's where the fan is. And that's right, even I forgot about that, that there's a that there's a zipper in front of the uh, brown mouse. I didn't even remember that. You can see him in there. Oh, about to come out. So that zipper, obviously, you know, you open it and he won't inflate as good. That's something interesting I actually discovered. But that makes sense because it's not getting as much air. So we'll zip that back up so nothing too much escapes. So there we go. And he should come back right back out. So, like I said, the dimensions are about 5 feet tall, 5 feet wide. It is written hot cocoa on the front in uh, green letters. I would recommend this one if you could find it on online. Uh, it was sold for $99. I'm, I'm just going in circles here. I'm sorry. I'm repeating myself over and over. But this is a really great inflatable. I appreciate you guys watching this. And uh, I will get to you guys soon with a new video. So if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, if you didn't like it, then leave a dislike and tell me why. So <laughs> leave some feedback, guys. And I also want to hear about the shooting location, the um, video shooting location, I should, should confirm. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll get to you guys soon with a new video. So... Appreciate your views and thank you.